And it's also very demotivating when you, especially with the LP games, I'm getting, I win three, four, five games, lose two, and it's like, well, all the LP that you just got is gone. Yeah, yeah dude, it sucks. Yeah. Um, it sucks. And the league system is so harsh. And it's just why so many people now just start new accounts because they're like, why the fuck would I, you know, sweat out in bronze for, you know, you've played a hundred games in bronze and what's yeah. the progress? Even though you've had a really good win rate, even in your last 60 games, again, a really good win rate, but you're still having to grind out of this rank that you're clearly better than. Hey guys, yeah. before we get into today's profile review, if you're interested in getting your own profile reviewed, just like the one you're about to watch or interested in the things I talk about in terms of coaching, personalized coaching solutions, please check out the links in the description below. Let's get into yeah, the yeah, video. Okay. Cool. Um, so I just wanted to firstly kick off with this. So your goal ranks goal four, uh, you're currently bronze two, and obviously you said you've been getting some coaching from your mates, but yep. let's talk about this. So this the biggest issue that's holding you back from climbing so currently you main diana which i can see really impressive win rate by the way and even better win rate in your last 40 rank games which is really yeah. good um but if need be we'll play other junglers yep that makes sense unfortunately not confident enough to play other champs they do play in norms such as kazix and echo okay so let's let's get let's get that point separated and then i have friends in platinum emerald that have been giving me coaching that's great and it does look like you've definitely been improving because, I mean, your overall win rate's 54%, right? And yeah. in your last 40 games, 63%, which is, like, perfect. This just suggests you're better than a bronze player. And, you know, mm -hmm. a goal of gold is not unrealistic. Uh, I've proved my game. Mental, yep, that's classic solo queue, especially in bronze, silver, gold, iron. Mentality is one of the most important things that allows people to climb out mm -hmm. because games are so fucked up sometimes in those ranks. So I completely get it. And then I tend to go on good win streaks, have a couple of game, bad games, and then lose. Yep, so t win streaks, lost streaks. And then your MMR is a little bit stuffed in regards to, you know, you're gaining a lot less per win yeah. compared to per loss. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So the first point here, champ so this is basically champion pool, right? Yeah. So let's break it down. So why, or like talk to me about your champion pool and what you want it to be. I mean, like... I am pretty confident with it. Like I have an a I have two APs, and then I have Warwick, who's just kind of like I found personally Warwick and Diana are really broken in low elo because people don't understand how they work. Yes. You know? Yep. Agreed. I've like I rarely ever see someone play Diana. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I know it's just like these champs. I just feel like I'm good at. Okay, and so why why did you bring up Kazix and Echo? Is there a want or a desire to play them in ranked, or did you kind of just drop that in? Um... It, it was just sort of adding it. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah. so you'd be happy with continuing with the champion pool of like Diana, Amumu, and Warwick yep. in your ranked. Okay, awesome. Okay, so we've basically got that sorted. Like champion pool wise, this in my opinion is a really good champion pool. Mm -hmm. Again, in your past win rates, like look at these win rates. I'm really yeah. happy with that. 61%, 70%, 80%. Yes, small ch game size here or game volume, I should say. But this yeah. is really good. So you've got you've got your champion pool sorted out and you're mm -hmm. excelling. Um, for, for reference, like when, when you're averaging like these kind of win rates, anything above a 55% at your current rank is a really good sign that you're going to be climbing. And that yeah. you're better than the average bronze player, which I'm mm -hmm. sure you probably can understand you are, given this win rate. Yeah. Um, it's just that journey that can be a bit frustrating because the climb is slow, which we'll get yeah. to in a little bit. Okay, awesome. So I have friends in Plat and Emerald. Cool. And so what have they been helping you with exactly? Um, it's basically before I started playing with them, I have horrible decision making, which is, you know, not ideal as a jungler. Yeah. Um, it has gotten better, I believe. Also, just with uh, clearing mechanics and like on specific champions such as Diana, um, it's sort of just like boosted like my confidence in the game and feeling like I can make the decisions and make them right. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. And so they've just by playing with them, basically, you've helped learn this, or do they watch your gameplays with you? Or... Uh, so I have one friend. He's actually a real great help. So he'll play games with me. Uh, he will watch uh, like vods. Yeah. He'll actually like review it with me. Amazing. Uh, but he actually suggested me to 
talk to you. Oh, cool. Yeah. Does does he know me or did he just? Uh, I I think he was getting a session from you as well. His username is Priz. Oh, cool. Okay, I thought yeah, it was yeah. a bit of a coincidence that two people in OS because I I rarely get OS customers. I like obviously yeah. I'm in Sydney. Most of my customers like NA and um, Europe. So I was like, oh, two yeah. people in a row. Do you guys know each other? Yeah. Uh, cool. Oh, okay, nice. Mm. Um, yeah, I've got a call with him later tonight. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's that's excellent then that you got that he's been helping you out. That's really important. Yeah. Um, awesome. And what ranks he is he in plat? Uh, I believe he's Emerald Three. Oh, very good, yeah. very good. And what role does he play? Uh, he was playing jungle, but I think he's sort of maining ADC now. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's awesome. That's a really good um thing to have as a player f for yourself. So yeah. that's really good. Keep keep with that. And then the last point, I tend to go on good win streaks and then have a couple of bad games and lose all the LP I gained. So when, when you say that, is it is it tilt or what What are you thinking the lost streak is because? Like, um, <coughs> well, like, and, uh, I, I don't really know how to explain it because I do feel like I'm sort of playing to the same standard. It can just be like due to matchups, due to, and I know everyone says it, but teammates' performance as well. Yeah. Um, that's especially why my mate told me to get on Diana and low, Elo because she can like 1v9. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I can definitely see sometimes your loss streaks are usually clustered together. Like, you know, his win streak, loss streak, that's an anomaly, yeah. anomaly. But we've got days where it just seems like it's not your day okay mm. cool um so to be honest that's that's always going to happen and the fact that you haven't really said it's a mentality issue in your response saying you know it's a combination of different things yeah. um <laughs> in, in solo queue you know you're one in 10 players right so we're going to lose a lot of games and you know losing is part of the journey in solo queue i know it can be frustrating when yeah. you've played your best and then your teammates let you down or there was simply like what felt like an unplayable matchup all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff but as long as you're comfortable with just understanding that yes you will lose games and as long as you're winning more than you're losing it, it's always okay to lose games and even go on lost streaks so yeah in my opinion, for someone with a, you know, again, 58% win rate in your last 60 games, you're winning a significant amount more of games than you're losing. Yeah. So I wouldn't be too worried about the losses you're having mm -hmm. other than, you know, you can learn from them. So some games yeah. you will be able to learn from them. Some games you didn't play so well. And those are really those losses that you should look on. But, you know, if, if your teammates are just terrible and it felt like an unwinnable game, no point in losing any, like, sleep or, you know, getting tilted yeah. over that kind of stuff. But it's a tough one because in bronze, sometimes games are really inconsistent. But the fact that, again, you've been able to have a lot of consistent victories is really good that you're dealing with kind of the chaos and inconsistency of solo queue, yeah. which is really good. I would just like to point out... Yes. I tend to get chat banned, and so I just <laughs> thought, how about I disable the chat? And I felt my mental has like improved a lot because yes. you know, yeah uh, i can't tilt against my team and ruin their mental they can't t tilt against me ruin my mental so i've like i felt like that's been like a pretty good step forward yeah in improving. mate it, it is amazing how many people i tell to do that i've been playing muted chat for i think like two years now and yeah. it just makes the game feel so much better, particularly as a jungler, where people start flaming you if they die one on one and shit. Like, yeah. it's so much better for the mental. So that's really good that you've already done that because that's a mm -hmm. really good um, thing to implement when you are getting, you know, chat restricted or you're getting flamed by teammates. So that's really good. Yeah. Great work. Okay, mm -hmm. so so what do you, what did you want to talk about on this call? Um, yeah, uh, it was like. I still feel that my decision making can improve and I'm just sort of like wondering because obviously to climb you have to win but it's like the struggle like how can I sort of beat this struggle yeah uh what do you mean by struggle can we get a little bit uh it's 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 a little bit hard to explain actually like to put it into words um do you mean like the grind of say going from bronze to gold like yeah, that yes. whole kind of journey mm -hmm. got it um so, so there's two ways to climb in league of legends 
Um, there's one which is the way you're currently doing. So you're basically just improving at a rate faster than the players you're versing are improving at, which mm -hmm. results in these kind of win rates. And, you know, given this, this account already has an MMR, so match yeah. made ranking, which is why you're getting these kind of losses, you will see a climb like this where it's relatively slow. Yeah. Now, let me get up. I'll see if I can get a visual example for you. But the other way to climb in League of Legends, um, let me see if this account will show it, is basically starting a new account and getting fresh MMR. So yeah. in your situation where you are clearly better than bronze people and it sounds like you're getting frustrated, so here's a really good example. So mm -hmm. look at this account, right? It got plat three in, what is that, 72 games with a 55% yep. win rate. So we look at your account, bronze two, 90, 100 games with a 54% win rate. Mm -hmm. So do, do you see how crazy it is when we start a new account and this account yeah. just has a 50? And so it's gone from basically, it was unranked. Um, and then it got to plat three in 70 games. So this is the second strategy I'm talking about. So when I hear a player that's really frustrated with the journey and they're quite a good player. So like, again, you, you're not a bronze player. You're, you're at least silver gold yep. with how you're playing at the moment. What I would suggest is getting a new account, fresh MMR. It starts in about, I think like silver slash gold. Mm -hmm. five placement games you end up you know high silver and then all of a sudden in your first like 50 games or so you're well into gold for someone yeah. like you individually so mm -hmm. you've you've really got two paths here there's no real way to solve the mmr issue on this account other than just yeah. doing what you're doing it's a slow burn like you literally have to prove to the system that you're better than you know the rank you're in and that's why you see it's a pretty good climb. Like in 24 games, you've gone from bronze two to bronze, uh, bronze four to bronze two. Like yeah. that's not too bad. You know, in another 24 games, you'd probably be silver four, mm -hmm. another, you know, 30, 40 games gold. But if you want to accelerate that process, I would recommend getting a new account. Yeah. And you probably already, maybe you already have a Smurf, maybe you don't, but um, that's what I recommend doing. Yeah. If you're frustrated with that grind, does that, mm -hmm. it kind of answers your question, but kind of doesn't, right? Cause there's no good answer to the problem yeah. you're having. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's also very demotivating when you, especially with the LP games I'm getting, I win three, four, five games, lose two. And it's like, all, all the LP that you just got is gone. Yeah, yeah dude, it sucks. Yeah. Um, it sucks. And the league system is so harsh. And it's just why so many people now just start new accounts because they're like, why the fuck would I, you know, sweat out in bronze for, you know, you've played a hundred games in bronze and what's yeah. the progress, even though you've had a really good win rate, even in your last 60 games, again, a really good win rate, but you're still having a grind out of this rank that you're clearly better than. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so unfortunately for players like you, there's no good solution other than you stick it out and try and enjoy the journey of heart like you know basically making this account unstuck or you take yeah. the easy way out and just start a new account and then you've got two accounts yeah i think also i'm not sure like if you'd be able to confirm this but before the split so last split yep i was like spamming ranked and this is before i started getting like an under a proper understanding of the game and getting coached by my friends yep and it was sort of me being a little clueless just wanting to play ranked and apparently that fucked my mmr yeah yeah think think of mmr it's like an invisible ranking it's really just based off your win losses um mm -hmm. and the longer you the more games your account has the less impact those games have on your mmr so yeah. in your first 20 games for example that has a bigger impact on your mmr than probably your next like 50 to 60 Absolutely, yeah. yeah so it's really and it's a shame because you were learning the game right but those are technically that's those games are the games that the league system basically takes as the heaviest weighted games to judge your MMR. Yeah. And that's why when you start a new account, it's so OP because they're like, Oh fuck, this guy's smurfing. Like he went five and in his placements or whatever. They're like, Oh crap. He must be better than a silver player. Yeah. As an example. Yeah. So you, you're, you're definitely sense. right on that. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. 
Cool. So, I mean, to be honest, th those are really your two options. Um, you've also got your friend who I definitely recommend keep getting um, coached by. Yeah. D like, are you interested in getting an actual coach outside of your friend? Are you happy with kind of what you've got now and based off our conversation, your path forward to getting gold? I think, honestly, it's like the conversation with Head and with my friend helping, um, I do think it's possible, you know? Yeah. Good. Yeah. That's good to hear. That's what, that's, mm -hmm. that's what these calls are for then. Um, yeah. Really just to determine what you need and what are next steps. And it doesn't always have to be coaching from a League of Legends coach. You've got yeah. a really good solution already with a friend who's you know, obviously going to be a lot cheaper. Yeah. Um, and you've got the potential to get to gold. It's now just a matter of how you want to do it. Commit to the mm. grind on this account or start that new account. 